The Zoning Board of Appeals heard a request from a homeowner in West Hyannisport for the demolition and construction of a new home on Ocean Drive. Welcome to Barnstable Today. It's June 27th, and I'm Len Gobiel. Stephen and Ann Corridan of 112 Ocean Drive appeared before the Zoning Board of Appeals Wednesday evening, and they had a request for a new two-story, 1,700-square-foot home at 112 Ocean Drive in the Avenues section of the town. They were represented by attorney Peter O'Keefe. We're here uh, before the Board of Appeals looking for a special permit under Section 240-91H to demolish the uh, current structure and rebuild a new two-story dwelling on a lot of less than 10,000 square feet. Um, before I get into the specifications required, I'd like to just give you a little background. Uh, the house was built in the 1920s. The house has approximately 1,220 square feet, plus two outbuildings for a total of over 14,000 square foot footprint on a dwelling, uh, on a 5,900 square foot lot. The Corrigans purchased the property in 2010, and their plan was to renovate the house. They contacted several builders to obtain estimates for renovation. They were told that the foundation was obsolete and structurally compromised. A new foundation would require excavation beneath the structure, and given the current age and condition of the structure, jacking up the building was determined to be impractical. And that leads us as to why we're here before the board today looking for uh, a special permit. The Historic Commission has given their approval to demolish the current house. In order to obtain a special permit, Several requirements have to, been, have to be met, um, and they all have been. Uh, I'll briefly go over them. Uh, the lot coverage must be less than 20% of the size of the lot, or no greater than the existing coverage. The proposed dwelling covers 16.3% of the lot, which is well within the requirements, and less than the existing structure. Um, on the staff report, there was questioned as to whether the small porch area was included uh, in the figure to get the 16.3, and I've confirmed with the architect it was included. So we're not at 17%, we're at 16.3%, well within the requirements. Um, the second requirement is that the floor area ratio not exceed 30% of the lot area. Uh, the proposed dwelling consists of 1,736 square feet, uh, being 964 feet in the first floor, 656 in the second floor, and 116 on the cupola. Uh, a total of 29.4% of the lot, again, within the requirements. Um, the height requirement uh, is that the maximum height to the highest plate allowed is 30 feet. The proposed structure is 29 feet 6 inches. It should be noted, however, the 29.6 um, elevation is only at the height of the plate of the tower. The primary roof structure is some seven feet below that, approximately 22 feet, six inches above grade. Um, that's well below the maximum allowed. Even the tower is within the requirements, but the main roof structure is only 22. The second part of the uh, height restriction concerns um, it cannot be more than two and a half stories. Uh, this requirement is met because the garage and the uh, storage area in the basement is more than half below grade, so it doesn't qualify as a full story. So that's where we, we get the two and a half. My name is Steve Corridan. Okay, Steve Corridan. so you're the property owner. Okay. Yes. So I've, Thank I you. lived around the corner for 13 years, my wife and I, and three kids. This is my wife, Ann. And um, so we lived on 7th Avenue uh, for 13 years. And truthfully, when we were doing this, 
you know, the goal was eventually to try to move closer to the water and, you know, and, and enjoy the view of Halls Creek, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and, and while we lived on 7th Ave, qu quite a few homes obviously have been small, 900 foot has been demolished and much larger homes built, you know, and it seems like that's happening, generally speaking, throughout the neighborhood here and there. And, and actually even near, you can see some of, I mean, this is 9,000 square feet, mm -hmm. you know, right here. We're, 900 feet on the first floor, you know, you know, a 1700 foot home right here. This is, I don't even know, you know, so again, you know, so there's a lot of quite large homes and our goal was truthfully, as we walked around the neighborhood, you know, we were going to do a two story home and, 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 and as we looked around, there's a lot of gambrel roofs and Andre convinced us that a gambrel roof would, would bring the scale down significantly. So instead of having two floors of windows and then a roof line on top, which was much more of a massing situation, which seemed much more imposing. You know, we did this instead. Instead of having the, the full height, we chose a 10 by 10, which we thought would fit better, a coastal feature, not unusual actually, in up and down through the neighborhood. So it was kind of what we thought worked. It, it allowed us to enjoy it and our family four seasons to enjoy that view over the, over the creek. And, um, this was the design that we came up with and we said to our architect the one goal of course was you know we're kind of rule followers make sure it stays within all the rules so if there's any height issues or setback issues or lot coverage issues or size issues make sure that we don't uh, violate any of those type of rules and so that's where you know Andre came up with this design which we think is you know terrific it's a little three bedroom 1700 foot gamble cape cod shingle style house so that's what we have not everyone was in agreement with the proposal attorney david lawler represented a butters in opposition to the special permit and it's um and if you look at that plan these are all tiny lots that were intended and the character and the nature of that community was intended to have these sweep out cottages and to have families come down and enjoy the seaside park at the end, uh, the marshes, uh, walk down to Craigville Beach, go to that uh, beautiful little country store at the, uh, on, um, uh, you know, at the end of the avenues on uh, uh, Craigville Beach Road. And this really is, and has the local post office. It's just, it really is, it's just a little slice of heaven. And um, one of the things that was said that really, um, and a, and a couple of factual issues I want to address, but one thing I don't want to forget. Well, we didn't have, and I suggest that they do have a view, and I'll show you a photograph that shows that they do have a view. But we wanted a better view, so we're going to build up 30 feet. Well, what's going to happen? The people behind them, uh, they like their views too. Are they going to build 30 feet too and then tilt their building to the right and tilt their building to the left? So all of a sudden you have the Jersey Shore with these mini McMansions that are squeezed in to these tiny 5,900 square foot lot. I just love it, you know, oh, we, we, we wanted to go higher than them because they went higher than us. Well, what's next? Everybody going higher? I mean, granted, you're stopped at 30 feet, but then you have lots that are conforming, maybe able to go higher, get a variance. All of a sudden, you're going to have a, an arc to the sky of these houses trying to seek to look at the water. It's not what's in keeping with the spirit or the intent. It's detrimental. Um, these are mainly sweep out summer cottages. This is a full blown home, a yeah, little mini mansion. They jammed in as much as they can. This is going to be lived in, or certainly can be lived in very comfortably, 12 months of the year, um, accommodating more people. This is a very, very sensitive area with respect to the estuary and the marsh there as far as septic. If now all of a sudden this one domino falls and then two, three, four, five, what's the impact on the septic? What's the impact on the other infrastructures of this particular area? After almost two hours of discussion, the permit was granted by the ZBA. For Barnstable Today, I'm Len Gobeel.